What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, we're coming at you guys, giving you guys great tips, tricks, and maybe some scenarios that we went through, or some of our friends or family members, or something we've seen out in public or around town. <laughs> so, uh, you know, every week we want to come up with a great topic to help you guys, you know, flourish your relationship, build a strong, healthy relationship, or maybe a future relationship and maybe not get any bad relationships, like maybe one of your past relationships. So relationships deal with a lot of different things, and I think this topic that we're gonna talk about today is more common than we think, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. Yeah, because people don't talk about it. Libido issues happen to both men and females. So at that point, you know, we see a lot of ED commercials out there and stuff like that, so we know erectile dysfunction is a big thing with males. Okay, so this happens to the libido, um, and it makes them feel possibly insecure or not, you know, the man they should be and, and stuff like that, and they deal with it in different ways. So there's different medications out there that can possibly help a man. But for a female, right, um, they might be going through different things, um, you know, mentally or physically or hormonal for both parties, um, that they're suffering from, you know, a libido that's not so good or in a sex life that's not so good. And at that point, they really don't know what to do. And usually, you know, couples, you know, they might not talk about these different things. Yeah. And that could create issues within the relationship. Yeah. Um, it, it's more common than you guys think out there. So let's just get into the topic, I guess. So, you know, what really happens to males and females uh, that causes libido issues, right? So one, you could have hormonal problems or deficiencies or imbalances mm -hmm. that can mess with your libido or physically and mentally, I guess, right? Yeah. And females the exact same way as guys. And at that point, they don't know really what to do. They're like, you know, I'm, I'm having problems uh, in the bedroom and then possibly they go see a doctor, they ask a friend like, you know, hey, listen, things haven't been as good as they used to be or they're not up to par like I used to be. You know, what can I do? And usually a friend will tell them, you know, you can possibly take this or do this and <laughs> it's probably going to, you know, help you out. Or you go to a, a doctor or a medical provider and they possibly might give you some ED medicines. That's usually just for guys, though. Yeah. But for females, I mean, you know, you guys have to remember, too, because people don't think about this, but this is important. So... A lot of people, especially right now with COVID, everybody was inside, nobody did anything, everybody got down and depressed, now everybody's taking all these antidepressants. Yep. These antidepressants, they kill your libido. Yep. They kill your libido. Yep. Even on paper, it raises your SHBG, yep. right? So it just kills your libido. And, and libido could be just, it just could mentally kill your libido, meaning like you don't even think about it. Right. You know, and it, it has may not have anything to do with your very very sexy husband oh. because he's sexy oh. but um you know it, it might just be just you don't think about it because you're not like you're not there mentally you know you might be there like you know as far as physically and emotionally that kind of thing but if your libido is just down or lost you may not even think about it you know john used to say it all the time <laughs> <laughs> what did you used to say? Like, you know, if, if the libido is down for a guy, like a girl could walk by in like a maid outfit or something. Yeah, so like, all right, so if your libido is unexistent as a yeah. guy, right, and you don't know this, right? this is not something that you're even thinking about. You know, your wife or partner could walk by and whatever is your biggest turn on, right? Whether it's, you know, you've got the sexy schoolgirl outfit on or lingerie or, you know, you got pigtails. Pig That's one of my favorites, okay? <laughs> Um, so at that point, like they're in this awesome outfit, they're all dressed up, you know, trying to get your attention and you're not even thinking about it. You're like, 
you know, you're reading, you know, an article on your phone, you're watching some TV show, and you know when they're walking by you and they're they're maybe trying to get your attention, <laughs> you're you're not even like there, right? <laughs> and you know, this is something that you didn't think of, and then at that point, like, then might bring up to you, like, you know, why don't you find me attractive anymore? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I was just here reading this article, like. Like we don't have, we're not intimate anymore. We're not doing this. Why? You know, and, and you don't have an answer. You're like, well, I, I don't know. Like, and then all of a sudden it starts to amount to other things. Like, yeah. you know, okay, well, who were you on the phone with? Yeah. And now you start getting into all these like, you know, well, okay. I, I mean, is there something else going on? Are you talking to someone else? Are you, t- are you doing like stuff on your texting? Is there something in your Instagram? Is there something in your Facebook? Are, are you, you webcamming are with? Are you TikToking? Yeah. Where, where, where are you? Only on the, fans? Are you swiping to the left? <laughs> you know and the guys might be so innocent like i really don't know even girls can be like well, I, true, i'm sorry true. like i i don't true. i don't know why this is going on or whatever yeah. you know and another common medication that people are taking especially for guys so hair loss a lot of guys Ooh, like their hair just like females killer. they want to keep their hair and they ask their doctor hey listen i'm losing some hair i'm thinning or i have predisposal to you know balding because my family yeah. you know what Male medications can i take this. So they give them finasteride, Propecia. Ugh. So it's great. It might help you keep some of your hair, but it's like a male castration drug. It will <laughs> literally kill your libido. For most people, it has this effect. Yeah. You know, I've tried this medication. I know personally, I've been through it. Where Poor me. We are very active every day, <laughs> you know, as far as that goes. Um, I, you know, I, I love to be intimate with my wife. You know, I find her very attractive to this day 13 years later. <laughs> so, you know, I, I want to be intimate with her. So when I was on this medication, it, it builds up in the system. And literally, it was happening to me like, like a couple of days ago. By you know, I wasn't thinking about it. You know, when reacting to things, and then I had to you know like start thinking about that. Like, what's going on that I'm not wanting to do this? Because I like or find enjoyment <laughs> in this big time, right? And then I, you know, I, you know, you go reading the medication. This is a main side effect. Yeah. A lot of guys are taking this medication. It's a out big there, one, yeah. And you don't you gotta, want that. Then you got to pick between your hair and sex. Listen, I know this. <laughs> Great. If it's between my hair and sex, I'm probably going to pick sex. <laughs> I'll be a bald stud all day long, but I don't want to be a hairy nothing, okay? Or be able to do nothing. Like, I'm a man. Like, this I got the... all this hair, though. Yeah. You, can, got... you can rub my hair I at look night. like Fabio, but I can't perform like I want to. Like... But Fabio's hair looks great in the wind. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. It might look good in the wind, but, man, you ain't nothing in the bedroom. Like... Well, that's a part of the relationship, you know. That's a part of intimacy right. um, and bonding and stuff like that. So that's just one thing. So you, you know, if you guys are out there and you guys are taking this medication when you're having these problems, you know, you might want to start scaling that back or, or looking into different options. Yeah. And there are different options out there for you guys and girls if you are taking this medication, mm-hmm. you know. But you gotta you gotta take away some of these different things. The other thing is is you know if you are having problems in the bedroom or having erectile issues as a male. You're going to look into what the root of the problem is. Is it antidepressants I'm possibly on? Is it maybe a hormone deficiency or imbalance? Because, listen, if you have low testosterone, you're probably going to have low libido that goes along with it. Now, low testosterone doesn't mean that you just have low libido. Oh, right? man, that's, that's a common a, that's myth. A stamp. Right? Low testosterone can deal with brain function, it, like brain fog, uh, physical issues, uh, you know, being lethargic, and a whole bunch of other things. But it will directly affect libido too, as well. Okay, um, so same that, thing for the females. Same I thing mean, for females. Yeah, I mean, 150 million percent for everybody that is postmenopausal. Usually, that happens somewhere between the age of 45 and 55. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, with all the hormones they're putting in our food, it's happening somewhere between 35 and 45. Yep. So it's happening earlier and earlier and earlier. Just like females are getting their menstrual cycles yep. at like nine. This yep. is crazy. But, I mean, when you're postmenopausal, you no longer have any estrogen. No longer have any more estrogen. You don't create any lubrication down there. Mm. Don't create any lubrication down there. It's dry. and Don't it be a desert. It feel good. I, you know, it doesn't feel good for either one of you. It could create some chafing and for, for both parties. Not good friction. It's not great for, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> KY jelly can only go so far. Exactly. So, you know, it's important to do that. And honestly, you don't even need to be postmenopausal because you can have a hormonal imbalance at the age of 25 yes to be yes. quite honest with you so i mean that's huge that's a big portion of it and the hormonal imbalances don't just affect you physically erectile right. slash vaginal dryness um it also affects you mentally you know yeah. so that's why they say sometimes people 
like for females, they might feel like they're being bipolar. They're like crying one minute, happy one minute, crying one minute, happy one minute. But they're really just have a super, super hormonal imbalance. Yep. And, the, and then obviously, let's just say, for instance, that you're crying one minute, you know, happy one minute, whatever that might be. And you are literally getting on your husband's last nerve, right? Mm -hmm. That he's probably not going to want to be intimate if you're, like, really annoying. You know, you're really... Just, eh, 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 eh. I mean, he might just do it to do it because he's a guy. <laughs> guys are guys. Because we can't take that away from guys, right? Right? I guess, yeah. Okay. Well, the guys are guys, so, you know, but ultimately, <laughs> you know, if you're annoying him, he may not want to be intimate with you. Yeah. That's important. It, it, it definitely is important, you know, and... and you know, usually partners, usually it happens to one partner, like super low libido. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other partner's like, hey, what's going on? You know, and then you're like, well, I don't really know. And that's when, you know, you want to see what's going on because you want to be able to please your partner, you know, because that's a part of being in the relationship. You want to make sure your partner's happy and you want to make sure you're taking care of all their needs and stuff like that. And that's really where it comes into play. You know, we, ha we deal with it all the time here where, you know, let's say a guy comes in, he has low testosterone, we get him back up to where he needs <laughs> to be. He's back home and he's raring to go all the time. Yee. And then the wife is like, what is oh, going on oh, here? No, like, no. I, I don't have that drive. Like, I want to be like you too. And that's when they call us up and they yeah. usually both get on programs. You know, that's another thing. So whether you're a male or a female, listen, here at Titan Medical Center, we have options for both parties. And we can definitely help both parties, males and females, get that libido back, get that drive back so it can spark that awesome forever fire and make sure you guys are getting hot in the bedroom. Because Listen, I have to that. make sure, I gotta make sure I, I just drop this in. Remember, I use the real life scenario stuff, right? So even if you are not having libido issues, yep. okay, you can always enhance your sex life. Yep. You can always enhance it. Even if you're, you are rocking it in the bedroom, yep. right? You could, you could rock it more, believe it or not. I mean, I've, I've even done this, you know, the Pepsi challenge here where I took a female libido enhancer. I have, you know, fine, you libido. know, sex drive yeah. and libido, but I took it just to see and it was like awesome. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> like, what it's all about. Like extra awesome. You know, it's already awesome, but it was like extra, extra awesome. So it does, you don't have to have an actual issue to use libido enhancers. You can use it just to use it. Let's just say there's a night you guys have date night and you just want to connect. Yep. Use it. So you guys can do this. Also, you guys can do like different things. Like maybe you guys want to role play or use toys or whatever it may be. There's a lot of different options on there to help, you know, raise, uh, you know, a good bedroom relationship to where it was to where it is now. So if you guys have any questions about our libido enhancers or how we can help you guys, you guys can always call or text us 727-389-3220. And we love to cover all these great topics with you guys. Hopefully we're helping you guys make that relationship stronger, better, and last forever. Okay. And longer, longer. in many departments. Yes. Longer in many departments. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up. This is another Cupid's Corner. Make sure you guys tune in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC if you miss it. Don't worry, we're on YouTube, just type in Titan Medical Center or our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, check out Titan Medical Center. We appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll see you guys next week. I'm Cherise. I'm John. And we'll see you next week. Later guys. Bye.